Good morning, you too. It's morning time here, man. We in Mariana, Florida. My wife gonna make some gumbo today. It's like 44 degrees. She gonna use this new big old steel pot she been just wanting to use. So she got have time to use that. This is her gumbo base we got from New Orleans. And man, we finna see she got other stuff already prepped. She got the chicken gizzards and chicken eggs balling. You gonna make the root from scratch? I could, but it's too time. She got a little sausage cut up. She cut up last night. Bear peppers and onions and bear and garlic. She got celery and all kind of stuff already ready. Man, we ready to go. May y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be Gumbo Tuesday. <laughs> you gotta go to New Orleans get gumbo. My wife better do that thing, boy. Y'all watch, 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 watch. She got a crab and all the shrimp and stuff in the fridge. What is crab and shrimp in the refrigerator? Oh, it's going down today. I hope y'all ready. Y'all stay tuned, boy. It's going to go down all around this joint. What are you doing, babe? Okay, so I'm pouring my first water off to get all that ushi off the top. And then I'm going to let them boil for a little while longer. Get a little tender. A little tender? Yeah. Tender, that's you, little tenderoni. That's a little tenderoni. Tenderoni. <laughs> what you doing with the chicken? I'm putting it aside so I can get my roux together and um, saute my vegetables and my sausage is next. Them juices looking like they can be tenders, I don't know what. Yeah, you don't want them tough. No. You want to be chewing on that junk forever. No, especially if you ain't got no teeth, it's just... And then with your chicken, you slow cook it. You don't eat rushing. Yeah, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning here, boy. Uh, we got the whole neighborhood stank. It's cold. It's gonna come in handy today, boy. I can't wait to get back in the house later. I'm gonna eat that for lunch and dinner and my snack and my night snack. <laughs> that does sound. Whatever you want, baby. I love you today, shorty, I shorty. Love you more. I love you like a whole heap of heap. I love you so much more. more. I hold you like a lots of lots. You know when it's cold outside. Not now. Okay. I'm <laughs> browning my sausage. That's some Andouille hot sausage. I got the hot one because I want mine spicy. I like spicy. The Cajun. In this. Brown my sausage on both sides to your desire. Like so. So sexy when you stir your sausage. Okay. I'm gonna be quiet. I don't think she's ready for me today. I'm ready for you every day. I got to be on 10 with you. This is well, today, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook. All y'all good guys out there, fishing the hood, I'm going to get me a job today. That's right. I'm on my way now to the county office over here in Mariana. Plan it's for already yours. County job. Here, my baby, what you say? It's already yours. So you need a little shorty shorty like that, what to inspire you, because now, I don't really think about going to get my job. It's yours. It's yours already. It's mine? Yeah. Well, I'm going to get this job, baby. I'm going to walk in the office and be like, you know what? I'm here to see Mr. Sam. I'm supposed to see Mr. Sam Everett. I need to see Mr. Sam Everett. He'd be like, what you here to see him for? My job. That's right. I'm saying, Mr. Sam, I'm here for my job. He was just, sir. I said, yeah, I got a nine o'clock interview. I'm Demetrius Brunson. I'm fishing in the hood. I, I can't fish in the hood. I need a job. Yeah, 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 and sometimes change is good. People scared to change, man. I'm leaving a big city like Miami. Coming to a little town like Mariana, you don't hear nothing around here, no siren. Last night, what time we went to bed last night? We was in the bed at 5.30, because we are an hour behind. So 5.30 is like 6.30, like, no, we are an hour behind the time. So it get dark here at four o'clock, it's like dark. So we ain't nothing else to do here. Everything closes up at five o'clock. So it's a, it's, a, it's a little, I'm a little Why nervous this morning. Uh, cause I, the I, other eye. I was crying. Yeah, it looked like it. 
And you looking handsome. I look a handsome miss? Yep. I look a handsome. My wife said I look a handsome miss. No, I said your wife said you look handsome. She said I look a handsome miss. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, we thank you guys, man. But change is good, man. Don't be scared to step in something. God open the door. Sometimes he got to take you out your comfort zone and put you in the place where he want to put you in, okay? So I'm in it. I'm going to do it. And ain't nothing going on God don't know about. But y'all keep me in prayer today. My, when I come back home, I'm going to eat me some gumbo today, boy. My wife doing that junk, boy. That junk look crazy, crazy. I can't wait to get home from work today. I ain't much go to work yet. I ain't much got the job yet. But I'm looking forward to come home from work. Because when I come home from work, I be seeing her, my heart be back. My heart be beating fast and slow at the same time when I see that little shorty when I get in the door. I fall in love all over again. I don't know, man, but God gave me no. love. He gave, he gave me something so special, man. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what she got on me, but I hope I don't figure that junk out. I ain't trying to. Just keep that thing going, shorty. She ain't got nothing on you. She just whatever you, you. You keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we love you guys, man. Y'all remember, pray for us. We pray for you. And you watch God work things out. See you soon. Now I'm just sauteing my vegetables, getting a little sauce to make my roux. I'm not going to use the Zatarain's box. I'm going to make my own roux. Y'all stay tuned. It's hard to do this and film at the same time, but this is my roux. Now I'm about to add some chicken broth. Put all my meat back in. I'm tell y'all when y'all making gumbo, this right here, that gumbo fillet, go a long way. Gumbo fillet, make it taste so good. And this is my base. Before I put all everything and all my meats in, this is the base. Of course, I gotta add some water. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, I've added my chicken, my gizzards, and the sausage. The crab and the shrimp will go in last because, of course, they don't take too long to cook. So, y'all stay tuned. We're going to let this cook down and let all the juices and everything, all that meat marinate together. And I'll show y'all once I add the shrimp and the crab. Okay, YouTube, I'm about to add my shrimp right there. And then I got my crab right there. Blue crab. So I'm going to add that to the pot. And I taste it. It tastes good. Don't need anything. Oh, and I added some bay leaves right there. Okay, so I added the crab and shrimp. See the crab? So you'll know when those get done once they turn color. The shrimp will turn pink like so. But them crabs going to turn pink as well. Like that one almost turning. But just let them juices and everything marinate together. And you good. Y'all stay tuned for the final product. I, I just like, it's like, it's eight, it's like eight o'clock. My interview at nine. I'm going to leave here in like 15 minutes. Do I need to take a paper and a pencil? For what? He might ask me to write something. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been self-employed, what, 30 years? 30 some years? I ain't never had no job in 30 years. I've been working for myself. I don't know what to do. I, I, man, I'm nervous as I'm nervous as a hook in the police station. I'm shaking on the inside. Why? Get that devil up out of here. Devil, I bet you better get up out of here, devil. But I, I'm nervous, man. I, I just ain't never did this. I used to be the one interviewing guys coming to work for me. Boy, you're going to get up in there and start talking, 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 talking. No, I ain't. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be like, yes, sir. Quit. <laughs> What you want me to do? Wait, what I, what I need to do? Oh. YouTube, YouTube, just leaving my job interview. I think I aced that thing because they like me. They were like, man, can you start a day? I said, can I start a day? I said, man, my wife cooking gumbo. I can't start a day. <laughs> hey, God is good, man. Really, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys, man, for your prayers. Hey, man, everything work out for good and those that love the Lord. Hey, I'll see you guys real soon. Coming home from this interview. Hey, babe. How did it go? The what? I, I aged that interview. I told them people, I said, if y'all don't hire me, I'm an SS. I said, I'm an SS. I said, I'm availability. What? That's what he said. <laughs> I said, I'm available. What? I'm available. What is that? Like, I'm available. 
Um, and, I, and I got a car, so I'm available. You're available. And I, I told him that he saw that for so hard. I said, man, you funny. He see, I never heard the word available. I said, because I'm available and I got a car, I'm mobile. So I'm available. And man, that was so hard, baby, he know what to oh say. Oh my God. So I, hey, I told him, I said, man, I'm an SS. If y'all don't hire me, you gonna regret it. Cause I'm gonna go to the next county on the street, I'm gonna make that county look good. Cause I said, I could do, I could do lots of stuff. I say, I'm like, multi-tellable. Talented. No, what is these words? I'm multi tellable What is these words you making up? They ain't making up. I got my own dictionary. Yes, only yours. I'm multi tellable because I'm more than multi. And did he ask you what that mean? And I'm available. I'm multi tellable I mean, I'm multi talented and I'm available for work today. So when he asked me that, I say because I'm multi talented and I'm available for work today. So I'm multi tellable And man, laugh again, man. So I think I got the job. He told me to look, look up for a call from this lady named Nikki. He said, she looking for a call from a lady named Nikki today. I said, okay, well, thank you, sir. I said, you know what? I'm going to make you proud. Good job. I knew you could do it. <laughs> okay, y'all, my taster is home. Here's the true test. I just got to taste that juice. Got to tell it all. How it tastes. How it tastes. Tell the people how it tastes. Baby. Not because I'm your wife. <clears throat> Baby, you, you better not never believe me. But you ain't tell me how it tastes. Girl, that taste, stuff tastes so good. Make you want to slap your mama. You slap your mama. She going to slap mama you back. Shoot her, bro. <laughs> That's the guy who I'm talking about, Lucy. That's good stuff, babe. You did good. Thank you. I just got to make some rice. Yeah. And yeah. let it cook down some more. Don't yeah. put that back in there. You need to thicken up some. Ooh, I jump crazy. Got everything in a shrimp, gizzard, chicken, crab, sausage, corn. Now that's Louisiana. My wife from New Orleans. She born and raised in New Orleans. But they don't put corn in there. Yeah, she don't put corn. They don't put corns down the water. They leave it just like that. But we put some corn. I like that corn in it. And hey, you guys stay tuned, man. We're going to let y'all know when they're ready. Y'all, look at this coming down the hallway. That's on the cowboy. <laughs> this time I'm going to walk in this warm-up. <laughs> you real cowboy. Look at my boots. Now, I like those boots. But why you gotta walk like that? Cause that's how cowboy be walking. <laughs> Welcome to the country. How you little pilgrim? He's a show little, pretty little. You got them overalls on again. There's your finished product. Mm-hmm. Well, this is work waiting for. It's perfect weather for it too. It's cold outside. Mm, mm, mm. Man, look at that. Everything in that joker, boy. Thanks, babe. Mm-hmm.